the field. Oh, they no, it's well, I get the play. That's the difference. And um, it, it's, it, it, it was everything was really about the kids. It wasn't about me. It wasn't about me. Uh, and you all know that I had a wonderful time uh, playing in New York City. I had a great time playing here. It was awesome for me. Uh, but everything about it, playing in this garden, was for our kids to experience what Madison Square Garden is all about, what New York City is all about, and what the fans were all about. Uh, because it was absolutely wonderful for me. I mean, it, was, it has just truly been emotional for me to be able to come back and have a group of young ladies that I'm coaching to be a part of this because I, I experienced uh, some of the best moments of my life playing with me. All that matters to me is to coach those kids and, and to try to teach every possession. I try to help in every possession and coach in every possession so they have the, the understanding of the whys of the game, why this happened, why that happened. Um, because once a kid really understands the game, they know how to play the game. You know, this is a process in order to be able to see. I have a young group of young ladies uh, who, are, who are learning the game. Uh, they're learning how to play the game, learning how to, to win. And that's the most important thing when you're out there playing, you're going to win. Uh, but right now, we're trying to feel the vessels of each kid of, of the game and what the game is all about and, and, and to learn to love the game. Uh, we don't ask our kids for anything about perfection uh, because if, if, if that was the requirement, we'll all be disqualified. So that is not the requirement of being perfect or perfection. Uh, it's about finding what you do great and doing that great every time when and how you go about you know uh, conducting yourself and your your mental approach to the game uh I, I'm, I can't say that our kids were intimidated in any way but we had a slow start uh, uh for us as young as we are we can't get caught in a hole because we're learning how to play the game and then we have to learn how to dig ourselves out of holes and learning how to win we want to kind of learn how to hit first uh and go for 40 minutes uh going through the game plan in which we ask uh, and that, that's probably our major problem right now, is staying within the game plan and knocking down shots. We can't hit any shots. We've gone through uh, quite a few games of not hitting shots and turning the ball over. Uh, we have to learn to value every possession, get a shot, get people open shots, and we must take those shots with a great deal of confidence because our message to our kids was, um, and the greatest thing about you is your belief. And it's a very contagious influence that they possess, and you must utilize that belief every single time even when it doesn't seem like it's very bright out there you still must believe in yourself and trust your training and when you continue to do that this team will grow to be the team that we think that they can become what do you think they took away from today's game playing in the garden the whole ambiance what do you think they took away from here you know it was, it was tough for those kids to walk away and not walk away with a, a, a win uh, the one thing i try to tell our kids is don't play for me you know play for each other you know they will always want i want to win for you i want to win for you but it's all about playing for each other. Let's win for each other. It's not, it's not about me, it's about us. And when they get out of that, you know, we're, we're gonna be pretty good. But our kids walked away knowing that there's a lot of work to be done. And all those little things that, that has to be corrected are correctable. That's the good part, you know, that's the greatest part about it is that everything that we need to change, we can correct it and become a better basketball team. You know, there's things that, you know, coaches do. You know, coaches have their own mentality. They know what they want to bring in. They know who they want to bring in and they understand uh, what they want to do or bring in their philosophy for this team to be successful. Um, but you all, you all know how special uh, New York is to me. You understand how special this organization is to me and nothing and nobody will ever change that. Uh, my memories are wonderful here. Uh, it was my adulthood here, uh, especially professionally in basketball. This place is always special to me. Uh, and you just, you just never know. You never know what the future brings. You never know. Thank you. I thank you all.